Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Wang Bo, and this is my colleague uh, Shi Kui. We are from Easy Stack. Uh, Easy Stack is a, a leading uh, cloud computing solutions provider in China. Uh, this is our topic, uh, unified management platform of OpenStack and Kubernetes. So this is the agenda. Firstly, I will uh, uh, share our experience about uh, in our de uh, product development about the combination of OpenStack and the project uh, and the Kubernetes. Uh, it includes uh, how to deploy OpenStack and Kubernetes, uh, the architecture of OpenStack and Kubernetes, and uh, last I will talk something about the uh, features of uh, uh, Kubernetes in our product. Then uh, we will. Give, uh, talk something about the, our customer cases. Okay, at, as we know, uh, OpenStack provides uh, infrastructure resources like uh, Nova VMs, uh, network, and volumes. Uh, the Kubernetes, Kubernetes is a system for uh, 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 automating deployment, uh, management, and the scaling of the uh, containerized applications. So we have different uh, scenarios uh, based on the different requirements. So we can uh, deploy uh, Kubernetes in independently and uh, we can run OpenStack and uh, Kubernetes together. Uh, in some cases, uh, users don't, don't, need to, don't, don't need OpenStack. They just want to run some containerized uh, applications. Or they have other uh, as platform but not OpenStack. Uh, in our product, we recommend to deploy the we, we re recommend to deploy the OpenStack and Kubernetes together, uh, so that with one dashboard, users could run applications uh, in containers, VMs, and bare metals. That I think uh, that's a, a will great uh, a great help for the customers. Okay, this is a, a deployment uh, process of the of the competition of OpenStack and the Kubernetes. Uh, uh, the deployment tools we named uh, ES Roller. As a number sequence, uh, it, firstly, it install OpenStack, and when OpenStack is ready, uh, it will provision resources uh, like uh, VMs, uh, networks. Then the roller will install a deploy server. The deploy server will install Kubernetes masters. Uh, all the four steps uh, happened, uh, happened in uh, uh, initialization time. After that, the ES roller will be destroyed. Uh, during the uh, running time, users could uh, update uh, the cl uh, Kubernetes cluster as they want. Uh, they, they could uh, create uh, new resources and uh, call the deploy server to install, to install new nodes and the new nodes will register into the cluster. Uh, this is some detailed uh, deployments about the Kubernetes. Uh, the deploy server uh, uh, used the uh, Ansible scripts to, use, to do the deployment. So firstly, um, we need to add the public keys of the deploy server uh, into the cluster nodes. Uh, including master and slave. And there, uh, we use uh, Harbor as a, a private image registry on the deploy server because uh, all the com components of the Kubernetes and other features are run in uh, Kubernetes uh, pods. So we need to store the Docker image into a, a, a image registry. Uh, the deploy server need to configure the uh, inventory file and run the Ansible command to, to do the deploy. Okay, this is the architecture of the combination of OpenStack and Kubernetes. Uh, on the left side, uh, here are the controller nodes, OpenStack controller nodes. Uh, on the right side, the computer nodes. And uh, the Kubernetes clusters, the nodes, uh, the masters, 
uh, run on the top of uh, computer nodes. There are different. Uh, there are arrows in different color. Uh, the different color means uh, different network. Uh, the controller nodes and the computer nodes uh, uh, communicate with the OpenStack management network. Uh, uh, the master and the nodes uh, of the cluster uh, communicate with each other uh, by the shared private network. The nodes are from uh, different projects, so uh, the network, uh, the private network, uh, sh uh, must be shared. Uh, and uh, users could access the Kubernetes service from the public network, or uh, they can access the unified dashboard uh, from the, uh, also from public network. Uh, in the picture, we can see that the, the different nodes, uh, different different nodes, uh, are from different uh, projects. Uh, the, uh, the 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 rectangles in different color means the different projects. Next, we will talk about uh, uh, the resource isolation in different projects. Sorry, oh yeah. Yes. Uh, it's about uh, multi-tenancy. Uh, multi-tenancy uh, is just uh, the resources isolation between different OpenStack projects. Uh, there are two things to need to think about. Firstly, is a, a post schedule. Uh, we use the uh, node labels. Uh, think about an uh, example. Uh, users from project A create uh, VMs and add them uh, as slave nodes into the clusters. We want to make sure that uh, the, uh, the, the user from this project uh, create pods and schedule into, schedule into, the, uh, schedule into the nodes uh, what uh, he create. So we add the label uh, in the form of a project uh, equal to project, uh, project's ID uh, uh, add, add list, list uh, labels into the nodes, so the Kubernetes scheduler <coughs> can make sure that uh, the pods will always schedule to the slave nodes with the list, list label. The second thing is the cloud provider. As we know, uh, in some cases, Kubernetes will uh, will will read the cloud provider infer and to consume the OpenStack resources, such as uh, we create a, a service, uh, the type of is a load balancer, uh, or we create a pod with volumes. In these cases, the Kubernetes will call the OpenStack, and it needs the cloud provider infer. Currently, uh, the 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 infer are, are stored in a static file. So if that uh, Kubernetes really uh, he, Kubernetes doesn't know uh, what what the user is creating uh, pods or creating volumes, so we change it and uh, we uh, change to the pass the user info dynamically uh, from the Kubernetes to the OpenStack. So uh, Kubernetes use the uh, user info uh, to create the resources and the resources are. Uh, the resources are uh, with uh, different user info, such as uh, project info. So this is a uh, multi-tenancy. Uh, why not Magnum? Uh, we know that uh, we have a project Magnum. Uh, it could help to deploy uh, Kubernetes clusters, but. It's really not enough to meet the uh, cluster's uh, requirements. Uh, the list is uh, uh, the, the all, all, all the functions of Magnum are listed here. Uh, cluster templates, uh, uh, management, uh, create, delete, update, and cluster, and cluster cer certificates and quota. Uh, that's, that's all the functions Magnum have. A real production, a real production ready. Uh, Container platform uh, need have uh, the following features. 
such as a private uh, image registry, uh, the, the CI CD tools, uh, the internal uh, DNS, or the outside DNS, uh, the monitor and the alarm, and the uh, log uh, collection and search. Uh, we use the uh, uh, we use the software uh, on the right side to implement all the features. Okay. Well, let's see, uh, this is a, a normal use case about the CI CD. Uh, the, de the, deployer, the deployers uh, make the code change and push the commits into a GitHub, and it triggers uh, Jacket's job to build a new image and uh, the new, use the new, new image to deploy uh, into the test zone. Uh, after the test, uh, everything is OK. Uh, the operators uh, will use the image uh, to launch the, to launch the uh, application into the production zone. Uh, this is a very common use case. So our uh, we need these features to support a container platform. OK, uh, now let's uh, welcome my colleague, Kui. So in the past three years, we have accumulated lots of customers in different areas, such as large-scale enterprises and tele telecommunication and also some financial uh, enterprises, uh, for example, some uh, banks. So I chose six typical customers to share our experience to show that the uh, Chinese-specific characters in, this, in the cloud computer uh, market. So the first one is the, uh, the CIB, the industry bank. This is a financial bank in China. And, uh, also, the uh, postal, postal saving bank. The postal saving bank is the fifth largest uh, bank in China. And these two banks uh, uh, face the same threat from the uh, internet, uh, uh, internet uh, uh, company. For example, uh, in the new, uh, in the new uh, pay mode, they can use two dimension code to pay and use it. Uh, internet uh, channel, also from use the mobile application. So that's is very easy and friendly for the user to pay for. So not, uh, not the same as the traditional mode. So uh, under this condition that the, this bank is threatened, uh, face the threat from the internet uh, uh, companies. So as a so this is the new, uh, new internet, uh, new business model of the uh, internet financial business. Uh, so what's the joint force of the cloud computing for the, for the banks? They need to save their cost and uh, to deliver their application very uh, swiftly. And also their application is more complicated. For, uh, the advantage of the traditional financial company is uh, they, have, they have advantage in, during, uh, in the traditional world, but in the internet financial mode, that they, they lack of the, such as experience and also the rapid DevOps, uh, DevOps IT uh, architecture to deliver their application very quickly. So in this condition, they should uh, change, uh, transform the traditional arc to the new cloud computing uh, uh, architecture to deliver their uh, uh, application. And uh, this, the second one is the Unipay. Unipay is uh, similar to Master. Or master uh, on the credit card, you can see the mark of Unipay in China. Uh, this company is uh, uh, similar to Master or Visa uh, in, in our country. So uh, Unipay has used OpenStack uh, very early. The first wor uh, uh, version of the OpenStack is uh, ASICS about uh, four years ago. So 
they have committed a lot of experience such as the high availability and the operation procedure and also the uh, security uh, uh, processes. So uh, they also threat, they also face the, uh, some threat from the internet business model. So uh, and also the ethics, uh, uh, the, func the functionality of the ASICS version is not uh, kind to satisfy the more and more ramped requirement of the uh, business application delivery. So in the past, the past years, they start a new version development for the uh, whole, uh, whole cloud computers uh, uh, architecture. And uh, the Challenge Telecom, uh, in the past few years, they have used VMware, VM, VMware and also the Clustank as the cloud computing platform to support their business. But uh, from last year, they changed from VMware and uh, also Clustank to OpenStack. Uh, and also in the area of uh, NFV, they, can, they have started to make the uh, cross cross testing of different uh, uh, hardware provider and also different NFO or NFM uh, service provider to 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 construct the big uh, the big uh, architecture of the future network. So during uh, during the development of the uh, during the development of the switching from the old. Uh, architecture to the new one, they have make some uh, customization for the uh, VMware uh, resource pool and also cloud resource pool. And also they have uh, supplied a unified uh, management platform for the, uh, in the, in the uh, headquarter. So from the headquarters uh, perspective, they can control every area of the process branches. And the Lenovo is the largest gear uh, enterprise. Enterprise. So during during the using the traditional IT uh, IT uh, structure, they can't uh, in the in, in the internet of the Lenovo, there are two rules. One is the architecture provider, and one is the consumer. So in order to save the cost and to support the Various of the application delivery, they should supply the uh, tra transfer the traditional uh, architecture to the new one. So in the past few years, they changed from the uh, one by one uh, step by step to uh, cloud computing architecture and uh, using cloud, using OpenStack to set up their cloud platform, and also the state grid. The grid, the power supply company in China, that uh, uh, they most focus on the security because that uh, their the application should uh, be monitored by from the headquarters of the uh, state grid. So it's, there should be there should be any prob problem in the uh, application. So there's a very high requirement for the security uh, grid. So uh, during the setup during the construction of the Cloud platform, we have uh, uh, optimize, uh, optimize many as aspects for the uh, platform. Uh, also, for the high availability uh, and the capacity for to protect the uh, whole cloud, plan, uh, cloud computing plan, platform to avoid from the attack of the uh, outside. So these six. Customers is very typical in, uh, in our company uh, in our customers, which stand for some specific characters in China, for uh, cloud computing uh, 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 market. So that's all of our share, and also I remind that for the first one CIB uh, on uh, on Wednesday there is a case study uh, for uh, for the CIB. Uh, we will share some experience with our customers. So welcome everyone to join the session to get the detailed information. Thank you.